Welcome back to my channel. So it is September 6th. September 6th. It's September 6th and I wanted to share with you all my September TBR. I have not done a TBR in a while just because I I changed my reading habits quite a bit because sometimes I'm feeling murder, sometimes I'm not feeling murder, sometimes I'm feeling cozy mystery, sometimes I'm feeling like a little bit of true crime documentary type thing. I don't know. I changed all the time but i told myself cam cameron cameroon you are going to read this month you're going to read this month we are listening to our therapist we're doing things for ourselves more and you know i i want to get back into reading more i know i read eight books last month but normally i do read more i have just a couple of books that i want to tell you guys about that i'm going to be reading for the month of september i'm not going to tell you guys all of the books i'm going to be reading because some of them i do want to like be a surprise for when i do my end of the month um video so without further ado let's get into the video so the first book that I want to read for September. It is The Chestnut Man by Soren Spacestrip. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. I really hope I got it right. So this book it is about a super crazy serial killer named The Chestnut Man in Copenhagen and after he murders his victims he makes a chestnut doll with like a chestnut head and arms and legs from like a chestnut tree and he places it wherever his victims are. That is his calling card. So as the detectives are trying to figure out where this man is and who this man is they come across a piece of evidence with a missing person's thumbprint on it that they presumed was dead and it is the government's like prime minister's daughter. She went missing a couple years ago and they have never been able to find her let alone her body and they just think it's odd that her fingerprint is showing up on a new piece of evidence for like the chestnut man. I'm super excited and I'm already started on this book. I think I am... I think I'm like two hours into the 14 hour audiobook, but I'm excited because so far it's, there is a lot of technical stuff going on in the book to where it's just like, if you're not really um, well versed into criminology and the justice system, you won't know what they're talking about. And that's like the only thing that's like a little bit boring about the book. But other than that, everything is filled with suspense. Even the first two chapters of the book, I was like, oh, we're already getting down to the nitty gritty, okay all right i'm super excited and i'm definitely excited to finish this book up for the month of september so the chestnut man by soren space strip <laughs> i think it's space strip is one of the books that i want to read for september so the second book for the month of september i want to read it is none shall sleep by ellie marnie so this book it is about two surviving victims of their own tragedy and they are selected by the fbi to basically join their profiling group for like underage kid for like underage people they basically want them to go and talk to the teenage serial killers that they have and basically you know get the ends with them and you know talk talk to them basically because some of them don't want to talk to the adults obviously they're not going to talk to them so let's put the kids in there because that sounds like a great idea the characters names are Emma Lewis and Travis Bell but Emma and Travis inadvertently get wrapped up into an active case which they were promised that they would not be a part of but alas that's not what happens. <laughs> So Emma is sent to talk to a sociopathic teenage serial killer by the name of Simon Gutsmussen? Gut Gutmunson. Yeah, Gutmunson. My goodness. Simon is like this really, really crazy, intense sociopathic serial killer and he has his sights set on Emma. He knows who she is. He knows all about her trauma and her tragedy and he starts playing a little mind game with her. And he seems like he knows a little bit more about the murder that's going on outside of the jail cell than he's letting on and he, like I said, he's kind of using Emma as the messenger for the serial killings and kind of just like He's, he's basically using her to get to someone in the FBI department. I'm not naming who, but this book kind of reminds me of The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And it's like the same, it's kind of the same concept to where we have a group of kids that are collected by the FBI. Some of them are really good profilers. They read body languages really well, but these two, they pull them because they have experience with that kind of trauma and they want to know their insight as a victim and also the motive behind the killings because they believe that they do have some kind of insight behind how the serial killers work. But I really like The Naturals and I was 
really really drawn to like that concept of the kids working with the FBI um, and essentially being smarter than the detectives themselves in the unit so I love plot lines like that and I was super super interested in the, interested in this and it's you know it's a in the books kind of a chunker so it is a little bit of a chunker but I'm I think I'm gonna get through it I'm about halfway done with it now and so None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie is one of the books I want to read for the month of September. So another book I want to read for September, it is The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. This book it is about a couple named Helen and Nate. They were living in the city and they really want that quiet, you know, farm town life. So they pick up and they move to this little rural town and they move into this very, very mysterious house. And they decide that they want to live back in Vermont on this mysterious land. So instead of moving back into a house, they build one on land that they found and they purchased. We kind of know where this is going to go. And Helen being a history teacher, she decides to dig into the history of the land a little bit more and she begins to become super, super consumed by the mystery of this woman who lived and died there a century before. I was super, super interested in this book because I really like mysteries that have to do with like, I don't know what it is about people moving from the big city down to a small suburban, not even suburban, but like a small rural town. And then they start to figure out more of the history of the town because then that's when, you know, you start getting people in the town getting upset because you're digging into the history. There's people that have secrets and, you know, you just start figuring out things that people wanted to stay buried that lived in the town. But now that the husband Nate is involved, I can tell that there's probably gonna be some like, you know, marital drama going on where she'll start telling him stuff about things that's going on in the house. He doesn't believe her because you know he's a man he's logical and like that's just what they do but this one judging by the cover i was like oh you look super super spooky i'm wondering if there, there's an attic in the cover i'm wondering if there's like an attic involved i don't know we're gonna find out but the invited by jennifer mcmahon is one of the books i want to read for september another book that i want to read is also by jennifer mcmahon and it is the drowning kind so this book it is about a social worker named jack where she has a sister and her sister is in and out of um rehab and she gets nine missed calls from her sister and so when she goes on her sister like she goes to her sister to check to see if she's okay she learns that her sister has drowned and so as Jax is going through the house and getting her sister's things ready she starts to see that the sister was looking into the family history of the, the I guess they had this old family house that they've been living in and Jax is starting to see that her sister was researching everything that happened and she discovers that a relative from 1929 desperately wanted a baby so she travels to Vermont and finds this this river i guess and it grants wishes and it turns out that the river will grant you wishes but you have to give something bigger than what you asked for in return and Jax believes that her sister has found this river and made a bargain that you know turned out to be bigger than what she anticipated i looked on good reason everybody gave this one like a four 4.5 out of five and that I was like, okay, okay, let's see what this is about. Let's see what we got going on. I'm buying what you're selling, Miss Jennifer, okay? But I love a good a mystery mixed in with a little bit of fantasy, you know, fountain of youth, fountain of wishes. I was a little bit skeptical about it in the beginning because I was just kind of like, okay, we have, we already have a mystery on its own where like the sister was drowned and we don't know how she drowned. It, it was under mystery circumstances. But then we also throw in like this lake that grants wishes. It just seems like, two completely different storylines on its own. So that's why I'm just like, okay, we're gonna give this a shot. The Drowning Kind by Jennifer McMahon is one of the books I want to read for September. Next book for the month of September I would like to read, it is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. So this book, it is about a woman named Claire where her sister went missing 20 years ago. There was no um, runaway note, there was nothing, there's no body, they were never able to find her. Now that Claire is back, there is another girl that went missing under the same circumstances and the town is starting to believe that the missing girls are starting to happen up again. So of course Claire is starting to believe that her sister's disappearance along with the younger missing girl and there was also a man that was murdered like half a century in between her sister and the young girl and Claire for some reason has a really strong feeling that these murders are connected and she wants to figure out why. I always see this book everywhere and Karen Slaughter I've never read any of her books I am trying to get into her uh, more so I can see what her writing style is like and uh, Pretty Girls is one of the books that was highly 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 recommended to me so I went and I got it from the library so we're gonna give it a read but Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter is one of the books I want to read for September. So another book I want to read for the month of September it is The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. So I'm gonna read the blurb for you just because I feel like 
this will give you more information than I can gather myself. So it says, in a boarded up house on a dead end street at the edge of the wild Washington woods lives a family of three, a teenage girl who isn't allowed outside, not after last time, a man who drinks alone in front of his TV trying to ignore the gaps in his memory, and a house cat who loves napping and reading the Bible. An unspeakable secret binds them together, but when a new neighbor moves in next door, what is buried among the birch trees and may come back to haunt them all? And I could have sworn, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I could have sworn like I saw that this book was released at some point in time and they're kind of just, and they kind of just rewrote it or remastered it. I have no idea, but it does come out on sale September 28th. But I don't know if that's true. Like you guys tell me if this book was already out and they kind of just stopped publishing it just to fix it and then re-release it. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm real interested about this Bible reading cat because I don't know what that's about. And I kind of need to know what that's about because I've never met a holy roller cat. Never met one before and I kind of want to meet one now. I know I didn't give you guys too much information on the book, but that's all that I was able to find. But The Last House on Neatless Street by Catriona Ward is one of the books I want to read for September. Next, we have The Van Life Murders by Taylor Cluster. So this book is about a girl named Haley Andrews. You know, she lives, she loses her job. She breaks up with her boyfriend and she her life is just falling apart and she really doesn't know what she wants to do. So what she decides to do is she decides to sell everything that she owns. She gets rid of all of it and she buys a van and she decides that she wants to travel and have you know the van life and travel in her car around the country but as Haley is traveling you know having her van life she's starting to connect the dots of murders that have been happening with single young van life women on the same trail that she seems to be traveling so Haley decides to do a little bit of investigative journaling and investigate the van life murders that have been happening on the same trail as the victims and as Haley takes the same route that these girls were taken she comes to find herself facing to face was possibly the killer investigative journaling that one it is a super dangerous job on its own so i would like to see that kind of information that she gathers from these murders i don't know about you but that seems really interested in me and I'm, I'm here for it. One last book that I want to read for the month of September. It is Girls of Bracken Hill by Kate Moretti. So this book, it is about a woman named Hannah Maloney and Hannah's younger sister went missing when she was a teenager. They were never able to find her sister and she decides to leave home. Hannah is called back when her aunt dies in a car crash and it calls her back to the home castle in Catskill and she's starting to plan her aunt's funeral. As Hannah is wandering the, you know, the castle grounds trying to figure out and put together the thoughts of what happened when her sister went missing, she she finds a human bone and she can only assume that it is her missing sisters. Does this story kind of sound familiar? But as she is discovering that, she's discovering other things that happened at her family home and it starts to open up some deep, deep, deep scars and tragedies that her family has tried to keep buried. This book sounds a lot like the family plot and I really, really liked that book. Literally sounds exactly like the family plot and that's not a bad thing that's not always a bad thing some people don't like it because it seems to be a little bit repetitive but i feel like with this one it's a different circumstance you know there's less people involved so i don't feel like it's going to be as confusing as family plot was it was just a little bit confusing because there's a lot of people but i feel like this one it's definitely going to be a little bit more straightforward and that's what i'm hoping for the girls of bracken hill by kate moretti is one of the books i want to read for september Alrighty, you guys, that is it. That is all the books that I wanted to tell you about that I want to read for the month of September. Some of these books are new releases. Some of these books are old releases. Either way, they are all new to me and I'm super, super excited about them. And I really hope that you guys will pick up some of these books with me. If you decide to pick up one of these books, please let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. I have that all linked down below so you guys can stay in touch with me and we can all talk and chat about all of the books that we're reading. I would love for you guys to hit me up on Instagram, email me, whatever, and tell me what you guys are on in these books no spoilers of course but I do want to know how you guys are feeling about the books before I read them because you know not to spoil it for me but you know let me know how it's going let me know how you're feeling reading it or if you just want to DNF it I don't know whichever one you're feeling honey you tell me thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little preview into the books that I'm reading for this month let me know in the comments down below what other books that you guys want to read for this month or other books that you think I should add to my reading list for this month and I will see you all in my next video Bye.